Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Kindly like my video, kindly follow this channel if you're not following already. Welcome to my live video. Like this video. Follow this channel if you're not following already. Share this video and God bless you in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Like this video, follow my channel and share this video if you're not following already in the name of Jesus Christ. This morning we'll be praying together. Sweet Holy Spirit, take control over this meeting. Let every afflicted soul receive healing in the name of Jesus. Let there be deliverance, let there be healing, let, the, let the, the chains and the weight of sin be broken in the name of Jesus. Every demonic torment, demonic harassment, situation that does not align with the will and the purpose of God in the life of everyone who is a part of this meeting, arrested by the fire, by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we give you praise, we give you all the glory. Beloved, it is good to pray in the Spirit. When you pray in the Spirit, the Holy Ghost takes over. The Spirit of the living God takes over that prayer. Hallelujah. And He makes intercessions for us according to the perfect will of God concerning whatever situation you're praying for. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, I would like you to pray in the Spirit along with me. If you don't have the gift of praying in tongues, I'm going to pray for you now. But before I pray for you, I want you to know that when a Christian prays in tongues, he is praying in the Spirit. And when you pray in the Spirit, you speak mysteries. You speak in a language that even the devil cannot understand. If you, except God gives you the grace, the gift of interpretation. Praise the living God. When you pray in the Spirit, you edify yourself. You make yourself strong spiritually according to the word and according to the will of God. Praise the Lord. Sometimes you desire to pray about something, but you don't even know where to start from. Sometimes you feel weak, kind of, you know, no inner desire to pray. So when you pray in tongues often, when you pray in the spirit, you find out that God wakes up that desire in you. And you're able to pray and to pray to break through. Hallelujah. So this morning, according to your various expectations and according to your various needs God who created the heavens and the earth is meeting you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ the King of Kings according to your specific needs according to your specific expectations according to your specific desires God the living God who created the heavens and the earth the Father of Jesus Christ is meeting you at that very point no matter your affliction in the name of Jesus Christ, the deaf will hear, the blind will see. Those who are crippled will arise out of their crippled chair this morning, right now as we pray, and begin to walk. There is power in the name of Jesus by the reason of the anointing to do all that miracles. And I want you to know it is the will of God for you to enjoy every blessing that comes from God. Even that would seem impossible to man. Recently, there have been trends of... You know, I am choosing, I am choosing, blah, 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 blah. You know, some bloggers waking up one day and trying to discredit the mighty works of God because he does not believe. Beloved, it is written in the word that with God, all things, all, mind the word, all things are possible with God. All things, all things are possible with God. And if you believe, all things are possible. There has to be a believing. That is when these things are possible. And those things that seem impossible to man, those are the very things that are possible with God. It's in the Word. Praise the living God. So if you doubt the mighty works and the miracles performed, you know, in the gathering of brethren where ministers of the gospel are preaching, then why don't you try this God yourself? 
Why don't you just take hold of the word, take hold of the Bible and speak to God and say, God, look, I doubt all these other miracles, but I would like to test you. I would like to prove you. I would like you to prove your word. I really want to see if your word is true. Do this, you know, and you will see that God will manifest himself. Look at Gideon. Have you heard of Gideon? Gideon was called. God chose him, you know, to serve. And, you know, Gideon doubted. Even when the angel greeted him, ye mighty man of valor, he doubted. Because he looked at the background where he's coming from. He looked at himself. He was small. He looked at the background where he's coming from. His family was the least among the Israelites, you know. So there was nothing great about him. But God still addressed him as great. Why? Because God knew that when he believed that greeting, when he believed that he is a great man, by the power of the same God who is calling him, it is possible. Praise the living God. So I don't know what your background is this morning. I don't know what your situations have been before today. I am here to announce to you by the reason of the anointing that your expectation is possible. I am here to announce to you this morning by the reason of the anointing that your need shall be met today. Spiritual need, physical need, financial need. La Diosa del Guerrero, how are you doing? Oh, come on, your network is bad. La Dio, kindly rejoin back, kindly send your request. There is power in the name of Jesus. Yay! There is power in the name of Jesus. I have this young lady friend. She's um she's into some financial transaction business, and I became friends with her not even long ago. Praise the Lord. But recently, I observed that she was away from her business center, from her shop, you know, for many days. And when I saw her, I was like, what's wrong with you? How are you doing? And she says, well, I, was, I, had, I wasn't feeling well and I went to the hospital. And I said, look, Jesus can heal you. Praise the Lord. And she believed. I prayed for her. You know, she was anointed with oil. I was carrying a bottle of oil in my handbag then. And she was anointed. You know, we prayed. I shared the word of God and I left. So this is about a week, just yesterday, and I saw, I said, how, how are you doing? I mean, how are you doing? How is your health now? And she was like, look, from
from the moment I prayed for her that she even threw the drugs away. Praise the Lord. So I'm here to announce to somebody today watching this video right now, hearing my voice right now, that no matter the disease, no matter the affliction, you are healed. Hallelujah. There are some afflictions that some people come with birth with something like sickle cell anemia. Some people think that they can never be healed. Well, it's by birth. Uh, they will have to manage it. No, you don't have to manage nothing. The word of God says, if you believe, all things are possible to those who believe. So someone's, um, someone's, uh, uh, they call it genotype has been changed right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. You go check yourself and you will testify that your genotype have been changed. In the name of Jesus. Is it HIV AIDS? Probably because of your, you know, confused lifestyle or falling lifestyle before today. You got afflicted with an affliction. You know, no matter what they are, those demons. I curse every one demon in your body and I command healing. You are healed. Go and check yourself and you will testify that you've been healed. Hallelujah. Or probably you've been married for many years. You desire the fruit of the womb. You don't know when God is going to visit you. Today is the day of your visitation. Today is the day of your visitation. God has blessed you with the fruit of the womb. Exactly this time next year, you will testify. I assure you. Congratulations. You've been on the wheelchair. You've been carrying uh, crutches uh, because of certain afflictions on your limbs. You know, you cannot walk and all that. Today, God is saying that you are healed. So get up right now and begin to take steps because you, you 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 start walking from this moment out of that chair right now you're not permitted to sit in any wheelchair you are healed arise right now and begin to walk i command you by the reason of the anointing out of that wheelchair right now throw those crutches away because you are walking already receive strength to your bones from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet receive strength to your bones right now and start walking because you've been healed You've been touched by the power of God. It does not hurt to tap the follow icon. It doesn't hurt to send me many likes. It does not hurt to comment. Praise the Lord. And it doesn't hurt to share this video. Rather, you are accruing blessings. You are investing according to the word of God. In the name of Jesus. And God bless you as you do that. Follow me on this channel right now. Me, I will do a Dacha right now on TikTok right now. Follow me if you're not following me already. Like this video. Share this video. Hallelujah. And subscribe. Subscribe to support this ministry. God bless you abundantly in the name of the Lord Jesus. Probably you've been financially constrained. You've been praying to God and crying, Lord, I work so hard been struggling so much financially in order to do business where are the customers they are not coming and all that today is a change of story you're gonna receive receive floods of customers patronizing your goods your products and your services like never before there is an open door for you right now i have come into my season of open doors yeah I have come into my season of open doors. It's my open, open season of open doors. My open, open doors. My open doors. It's my season of open doors. Yeah, I have come into my season of open doors hallelujah i have come into my season of open doors It's my open doors. It is my season of open doors. Hey, hey, I have come into my season of open doors. You have come into the season of your open doors.
open doors, my open doors. It is my season of open doors, my open, open, open is my open doors. It is my season of open doors. It's a new week, it's a new dawn, my open doors. It is my season of open doors, my open, open, open is my open doors. It is my season of open doors. You have come into the season of your open doors. I have come into my season of open doors. I have come into my season of open doors. My open, open, open is my open doors. It's my season of open doors. God just cancelled the plan of premature death in somebody's life. No more untimely deaths in your family. No more untimely deaths among your loved ones. No more untimely deaths among your friends. No more untimely deaths in the name of Jesus. Every yoke of the devil placed on you, placed on your loved ones, placed on everyone related and connected to you is broken. And it's all by the reason of the anointing. It's not by my power. I am Apostle and this is me out there. That you're right here live on TikTok. It is not by my power that you're receiving these healings, you're receiving these deliverances or freedoms from sin, from Satan, from diseases and afflictions. It is not by my power. It's by the power of God. It's by the reason of the anointing. The word of God says the anointing breaks yokes. Yokes are broken by the reason of the anointing. And I want to tell you that God really wants you to see his goodness. He wants you to see and enjoy his glory. God, the living God, wants you to see his power and his glory. I can see your power and glory. Lord, in your sanctuary, in a dry and thirsty land, where there's no water, Lord, I want to see your power and glory. Lord, in your sanctuary, it is written that upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness. The sons of Jacob shall possess your possessions. That means every blessing that Jesus actually sacrificed himself for you to have, you are not permitted to miss them. So today is the day of encounter. Today is the day of restoration. Today is the day of manifestation. Receive your miracle right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive it, receive it, receive it. And every work of the devil in your life that has caused a hindrance or a barricade to the bless from you and prevented you from enjoying the fullness of the blessings of God by the reason of the anointing, so demonic yokes are broken, broken, broken right now by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Ilaya kata kata, masha kutoko baladas, reke keke lika bayagalama, jakwa lika yeko lika dadas, maketo lika
Kindly support this live video with gifts right now. God bless you as you do that. And I'm signing out any moment soon. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. I congratulate you because your miracle has happened. I congratulate you because your encounter has come. I congratulate you because you are testifying. I congratulate you because it is your day of visitation. It's your day of encounter. Today is the day of salvation. Hallelujah. Today is the day of salvation. So congratulations in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Every addiction is broken. I curse the taste of alcohol in your mouth. I curse the taste of cigarette in your mouth. I curse the desire for women, even though you are married, in the name of Jesus Christ. I curse every work of the devil in your life and I release the anointing of the Holy Ghost upon you from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Receive a refreshing fire from heaven right now in the name of Jesus. There is a breakthrough. There is a breakthrough. You desired something before today, and you're beginning to think when is your breakthrough going to come? Your breakthrough is now. It is now in the name of Jesus. Your breakthrough is now. It's by the reason of the anointing. Your breakthrough is now. I want you to know with God all things are possible. And I, would t I take this opportunity to pray and decree over America, United States of America, no more assassination attempts. No more assassination attempts in America in the name of Jesus. I pray for Nigeria, no more kidnappings. Every demon of kidnapping is arrested in Nigeria. Every demon of kidnapping is arrested in Nigeria by the fire of the Holy Ghost right now in the name of Jesus. Every demon of confusion, demon of laketoko mashakata, of robberies, killings, suicide bombings are arrested by fire. Every threatening war looming over Ethiopia and Somalia arrested by the power of the Holy Ghost right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, these prayers that believers pray every day is powerful and active. It is written, if my people who are called by my name, you are a Christian because you are called after Christ, Christian, Christian. And if you pray, God says, if you turn from your wicked ways, he will come down and he will heal your land. That is the word of God. Unto everyone listening to this video or watching this video right now in the name of Jesus Christ, it is written, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, I will come from heaven and I will heal their land. That word is activated over America, over Nigeria, over Ethiopia, over Israel, over Ukraine, over every country of the world where Christians live for your sake. There is a visit, there is an encounter from the power of the Holy Ghost over the nation, over the locality, over the environment, and over the country where you live right now for your sake in the name of Jesus. You remember when God was about to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah for the sake of his servant Abraham, God delivered and saved Lot and his family. So I congratulate you because you are preserved in the name of Jesus. No weapon against you will prosper. 
in the name of Jesus. There is promotion for somebody who has been on one level for long in his career. Promotion is coming. Promotion is coming. Promotion is coming. Promotion is coming. Promotion, job promotion is coming. Job promotion is coming. You have graduated for many years. You've been searching for a job. You are going to receive a job, a miracle job. A miracle job. A miracle job is coming to somebody. A miracle job is coming to somebody. A rise in payment of salaries is coming to somebody in the mighty name of Jesus. A miracle alert is coming in the name of Jesus. That report has been changed. You're planning to go for a medical test or a medical whatever. That report has been changed. Go and check yourself. You see that that affliction has disappeared. You are healed. You are healed. You are healed. You are healed in the name of Jesus Christ. You are healed in Jesus' name. I am Apostle and this is me out there that you're saying have a beautiful day in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you so much everyone who joined this video, who watched this video. I encourage you to like this video and I encourage you to share this video and I encourage you to comment. Share this video. Kindly share this video. Let me tell you what you do when you share this video, okay? When you share a video like this, you are evangelizing. It's a way of evangelism. And the word of God says, They that put many to righteousness shall be as the stars. God will cause you to shine. Men shall see the glory of God in you. Even when darkness covers the whole earth, the glory of God will remain on you. That is what happens when you share a video like this. Because you are spreading the gospel. You are spreading the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And your life can never remain the same. You are blessed. You are blessed. You shall succeed in all your endeavors. In your business, you shall succeed. In your relationship, you shall succeed. In your relationship, you shall succeed. In the name of Jesus. There is a restoration and healing to somebody's marriage right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you and have a beautiful day. You are preserved. No weapon formed against you will prosper. In the name of Jesus. From glory to glory. Reviver fire. Receive revival. No more lukewarmness. No more coldness. In the name of Jesus Christ of the Spirit. Arise and shine for thy light has come today. Congratulations. I expect you to send your testimonies. Kindly send your testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ, the King of Kings. Amen. God bless you and have a lovely day. A lovely day. A lovely day. A lovely day. A lovely day.